Hi everyone, welcome back to part 37 of my Tem Tem playthrough. Last episode we went ahead and explored the rice fields and I believe we were at the end of that area. In this episode we are going to go ahead and continue forward with the storyline. See what we have. I'm pretty sure we have to battle the dojo as well which I'm pretty excited for. I would also like to apologize about the background noise. It's raining pretty heavily over here and you might hear the rain or the water falling uh, in the background and I am really sorry about that. I'll try to block it out as much as possible. But of course, here we are. Um, this is where we had accepted one of the quests. The quest was on testing the power of Mehmet and we had to make our way back to Iwaba. After all, the NPC did ask for a much drier place, unlike this rice field right here. By the way, I'm trying to make my way back. Um, yes, this is the right pathway to move on forward and exit through the rice fields. Now, as far as the temtems go, I believe we have caught all the new temtems that are available right here in the rice field. If you have not caught all of the temtems, go ahead and check out my previous episode. I've talked about the newer temtems in each of these uh, smaller sections inside the rice field. Anyway, I'll focus more on the tamers today. Um, I believe we'll have to battle the dojo pretty soon and I'm a bit nervous about it. I have, um, I would say I've done a bit of research as this is the first time I'm going to Sipanku and found that the dojo here in um, Sipanko is a bit tougher. I wouldn't say that the battle is tougher. I think just getting to the Dojo Master is quite the challenge. You'd have to have the right timing to go through some of the puzzles. Um, I'll talk more about this once we do reach the Dojo itself. As usual, I will try to cover all the tamers in the Dojo and get all of the items that are available in there as well. But in case I fail, uh, I might come back on a later stage to battle the rest of the teamers and the items. Anyway, uh, we have been doing pretty well against this teamer here. There we go. Um, we have defeated him as well. I believe we were going through this rice field to pursue a thief. Uh, the guy called Humuru, who was actually stealing digital temtems from Dr. Sasaya's laboratory. I believe he went ahead and crossed through this area. Wonder if he had to battle all of these tamers or if he just passed through casually. Right here, we do have a NATO lab worker who is actually uh, talking more on the digital temtems. Um, if you might know, if you have seen my last episode, a lot of digital temtems from Dr. Sosaya's laboratory were stolen and released in the wild here, which is the reason why we are able to find so many and are able to add them to our team. But I think it's pretty interesting that we have to see a worker here. He does have uh, Ori and its evolution, which I think we'll be able to go ahead and defeat pretty soon. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Anyway, um, I'm pretty sure that I am in the right way. All I have to do is move on forward. But let me quickly heal up my team members or at least switch them around. As usual, I have sped up this video just to make sure that I'm able to cover at least a bit of the main quest. Um, in this case, thankfully, I'm able to do that. We do have someone special here. Hmm. She doesn't seem to have a name right now. I'm hoping we'll get introduced to her pretty soon. She also looks like a shaman from the temple, which we at some point would have to visit. After all, we do have a quest on that as well. She does have some pretty unique temptums. OB10 is a newer temptum which I believe is only a digital type. It might have electric typing as well considering that it does use that move but I doubt it. Either way, 
Up next is Crunch, which I believe will be able to take down pretty soon. I'm also trying to level up Oshukai and my starter. Uh, the main reason being that they both are quite powerful against the upcoming digital temptems. Hopefully, I do not have too much of a trouble while defeating Dr. Sasaya, which is definitely my goal. Either way, let's quickly talk to her again. Oh, no mind, she actually disappeared. Huh. Here we have our next teamer, Taro, who is looking for his kids. Hmm. I wonder why he is asking us. He could have just tried looking for them himself. But I guess we can definitely help him out if we do see his kids around. He only has one Temtem, which is at level 71. Right. Um, besides the switch and do my starter, as it does have a world type who. Scarvolt is pretty powerful. Thankfully, it actually targeted Oshukai and not my starter, which would have been devastating. Either way, in the very next turn, we are able to take it down pretty good. And I'm leveling up pretty well as well. I'm hoping to be at least around level 70. Uh, by the time we reach Tojo, but at this point, I think it will be a bit more tougher. Unless, of course, the Dojo actually has a lot of teamers. In that case, I think it will be possible. I should definitely put up a scent, but we have guards here. Hmm. Actually, it's a guard and a sergeant. Um, although, I must say, they're supposed to be actually helping us stop this thief. But they apparently let him go, um, which is kind of a trouble. It seems that we are the only one who are actually trying to cast the thief. In any case, we do ask for their help and hopefully they will prevent him from running back into the city. Hmm, the stem tents are pretty powerful, but as long as I have Gazuma up in front, I think it shouldn't be much of an issue. I'm also seeing that my starter is really not that great. I mean, at least the defense and special defense stats are pretty bad on my starter, which is a bit annoying. It does tend to get a lot of damage on each of these battles and tend to really go down uh, when I actually need its help. So I'm a bit frustrated with it. I think I just should have gone with Crystal. After all, it is the starter I went with for the last time and it was definitely pretty tough. Um, yep, as you can see here, there goes down my starter again. Either way, I decided to switch out into Antan. Fire type moves should be pretty good. Hmm, Warm Cuddle should do, yep, pretty good damage. Most of these battles are actually pretty easy, unless of course I start losing my temptems for some powerful moves, which thankfully in this case was just my starter. But I'm pretty sure that there are a couple tougher battles coming up, and if you're really not prepared for those, I think it will be super difficult to just stay alive in a battle and probably uh, losing uh, the whole scenario. Either way, it seems that we have found the kids. They're right here. They are actually twins and um, are actually, they are really not concerned. Hmm. Perhaps they'll actually go back once we do talk to them and defeat them in this battle. Right, the Demtems are not that tough. Hmm. Now, small C here, I believe you'll have to breed in order to get it or just hope that it appears in the Sci Park back in Dennis. Thankfully, in my case, I actually found it in the Sci Park, which made it much easier to actually catch. Um, otherwise, you would have to definitely go for the breeding. There are also a couple other Temtems like Auli and Bigu which you'll only be able to get once you do actually read your temptems so you might have to do that at some point if you're wondering where you'll be able to read your temptems it's actually in nanga the second region 
of this game so definitely you have to travel over there to go ahead and get some eggs i'm pretty sure there are a couple different side quests which actually need you to have eggs in order to complete them anyway it seems that we are at the end of the rice field let me quickly go ahead and go to the next area which is yokin hmm we have homaru here who's trying to escape let's try to stop him and fortunately it seems that he is part of the sodo clan and he was able to escape with crystal skates this is pretty bad we actually do not have a pair of crystal skates unfortunately we had a couple of guards here but they are drunk that is the reason why he escaped really seems to me that a lot of people are such incompetent here anyway since we are here let me quickly go ahead and explore this house or probably establishment ooh all right it's a sake and good company hmm there seems to be a quest here so i'm quickly going to go ahead and accept the quest as well the other good thing is that there's actually a temporium here so you'll be able to go ahead and heal up your temtems in my case i just need to buy a couple of items as well um yep there we go <laughs> that should be enough here we have hana with a side quest let's quickly go ahead and introduce ourselves i'm pretty sure she will have a smaller side quest which i probably will be able to complete pretty soon it seems that her grandpa is missing in tukma hmm if i do find him i will definitely go ahead and bring him back also we're trying to find someone here who was actually talking to humuru let's see who that is apparently it was a lady um i'm guessing it might be lady lotti but you never know it might also be just a well sort of grunt in any case uh he's actually gone to shiratama which is the next place for us at this point with no other leads the only thing i can do is head back and talk to carlos i believe he's probably um still in the lab hopefully if not i think i would have to just try and look in the map anyway um Oh all right we seem to have a a marker on top of the dojo which is interesting hmm i believe it's time for us to go ahead and see dr sasaya in her dojo this is pretty interesting um we do get a small cut scene where a dojo usher does actually invite us into the dojo in any way i will just say this up front This dojo is insane and it literally tested my patience. You have all of these uh white lines which you actually have to avoid. If you do not, you'll actually be resetted back to the entrance. So in any of these areas in anywhere in the dojo, if you're not careful, um you'll come back to the entrance. So you have to go through everything after that. Yep. As you can see the struggle is real at this point. Um I decided to go to the right one and the red line from here. Um as far as the pathway that you can actually take, you can go through this one here. Um if you go through the red line which I went through before, it will actually help you move on forward. but i just wanted to try and defeat all of the teamers here in this dojo so i'm just going to struggle my way through this one in fact we can actually go through this path as well but it's a lot harder than the other areas in any case we do have our very first teamer in the dojo here so let me quickly go ahead and defeat him it seems that it's much easier to defeat most of these temtems with oshukai and saku so i'm just going to try and keep them up in front we have ob10 i believe the pre evolution for ob10 is ob1 
which is what we'll be able to find in the uh, next area from Ryokun, which we have just visited. Anyway, there we go. Um, apparently, I have to go through here next. Hmm. All right, we are just gonna try it multiple times. I'm not even going to skip this part. I'm just gonna let you all see my struggles. Uh, I think after struggling for so long, this is a must. There we go. I was able to cross through the first two barriers to get a new item. And here we have our next stingray. He has only one Temtem, but it's actually a newer one. It's a Chromian. Um, this one I believe we'll be able to find in the future as well. I did decide to switch my Temtems and apparently that was the wrong thing to do. As you can see, my starter is once more struggling quite a bit. Hopefully this turn I'll be able to take the Temtem down. There we go. Yep. Um, I just know that this is gonna be one heck of a dojo. I mean, I thought the dojos in Naga were irritating. Considering that we had to hop through all of those planks, but this is in another level. I just cannot believe that they have made it so tough. Maybe it's not this tough for you guys. I mean, let me know in the comment section if it is or if it's not. Anyway, moving forward, we have two more other temples. Hmm. Here we have a different type of chromion. I believe this one is a part earth or maybe part fire i mean the coloring scheme is a bit difficult for me to judge but at least it went down on a water type move so i'm guessing it's part both the coach over there is part electric so i do have to switch out my starter in the next turn the second coach is actually part digital which i think is a unique design I also have to talk about this. It's surprising to see these two tamers have the only two temtems that can actually have different type things and yet do not evolve in this game. That is the Chromium and the Koish. So it's pretty interesting to see this team. Even though it was tough, I'm able to go ahead and defeat these two tamers. There we go. This is the last turn. Right. Um, I guess we can try going forward in this room. So we have, hmm, uh oh, I made a mistake. <laughs> I was so frustrated that I went out and heat up my temtems and then headed out into the red line. Um, you might have seen this pathway. To get here, you have to go through the first yellow line on the right side and then immediately go through the red line that you might see over there. Now this room is a or this section is a bit unique. Um, I'll talk about it more once we move forward. We do have this tamer here who we have to defeat first. Um, Alright, seems like I am still pretty bad at battling here. Or maybe I'm just using the wrong items. In any case, um we're going to take down one and there we go, in the second turn, the second one. One more Temtem -tem left. Last one is Kazuma. So I believe I'll be able to take it down. I did decide to switch out my Oshukai and bring in Andan. Crystal type moves are super effective. So let me quickly go ahead and try to defeat it. Yep, Crystal Bite it is. We do get hit by a electric storm, but thankfully it's not that powerful. And Gazuma goes down as well. Right. Um, now that we are almost at the end of the game, considering that we only have one more region left, I do feel that we have to fill up our team. I would definitely recommend it for everyone else. Uh, as you can see in my case, I only have 5 Temtems. Now, I haven't found this issue till now, but I do feel that at this point in the dojo, if I did have one more extra Temtem, it would have probably, uh, I guess, stopped me from going back and forth multiple times to heal up my team. 
I'm probably having a different type in the temtem. Maybe uh, something like a toxic temtem. I think it would have helped as well. Anyway, let me quickly go ahead and defeat these two tamers here. Right. Um, there we go. The temtems do seem to be a bit lower in level, which makes it a much easier task. But of course, uh, <laughs> this is just the rarer side. After all, most of the tamers in this dojo are pretty powerful. We do get to see Hoglip, which I believe we'll be able to catch pretty soon as well. In any case, there we go. We have defeated this two tamers as well. Moving forward from here. Um, let me quickly heal up my temptums first. And switch them out. There we go. Seems that we have a bit. Yep, I did another mistake. Sometimes it just gets frustrating. But... At this point, I decided that patience is key and I'm just gonna go ahead and try my best. We do have a exit at the end of this room. So that is what I'm just gonna try. Now the laser lights might seem a bit faster here. That's because I have actually sped out this video. Otherwise, you'll be able to see that it's a bit slower and a bit easier to avoid getting hit. In any case, let me quickly go ahead and hit the laser. Um, yep, there we go. We are back at the entrance. So this is where I was before and I believe this is where I kind of uh, struggled. This one's a bit difficult. I think I'll just take the red pathway instead of this one. Um, yep, that was difficult. But here we are. I was able to go ahead and go through forward. This is where we had just defeated the two last tamers. Here we do have a single tamer with one temtem. But it's actually a grumper which is pretty powerful. Hopefully I'll be able to take it down with a water type move. Yep, lucky for me that it actually did not use an electric type move right there. But if it does use it in the second turn... It's gonna be a bit of a trouble. Ooh, always took it down. Yep, thankfully we were able to take it down before it could do much damage on my team. Going through this upper pathway, it actually takes us to another room. Now this room is just dedicated to the items. So unless, um, or if you're planning to come back on a later stage to get the items, I would say skip out that room. Right, uh, I tried something different, but I was able to get to this room. Uh, this is through the first diagonal uh, laser room that we have just gone through. Um, this will actually connect back to the other room, which I was not able to go through. The first one in the right side. I think if you do search for the map of this dojo, whatever I'm explaining would make much more sense. Um, this room only has one tamer and I believe uh, it will connect back to the very first room and the bottom right. So I would definitely recommend going through this pathway. Unfortunately, this battle is way tougher. These two temtems are in level 62 and they're quite powerful. Half of my team is down, so I definitely have to um, go ahead and heal up my temptems before anything else. I also believe that um, I might not be able to challenge the dojo master in this episode. So I'm just going to see how much progress we're able to do. But here we are. This is the room I was talking about. If you might have seen this room before. Uh, you might know that this is the end that I was trying to reach. We do have two tamers here. So let me try and defeat them as well. To be honest, when I was going through this dojo, I did have a map of all of the rooms. Um, I didn't have a pathway, but I was able to connect the map 
or the rooms through the different lines that we have seen on screen. Um, I think having a map when you are going through a dojo is really very helpful. It also points out where you might be able to find items and which pathway would be the right one to get to the dojo master. In any case, we have these two tamers to defeat. Hmm. A mimic is definitely going to be a bit challenging, but let me at least try and take down Chugby. Ooh, Mehmet actually changed into Oshkai. I think I'll be able to take it down with my starter. A water type move is definitely powerful. Oops, right. I did go with energy manipulation thinking that that would help. I mean, it is after all two times weak to uh, mental type of moves. But of course, the very next turn, we are able to take it down. Not bad. Although I must say, there are a couple different places where you might have to keep your character running. Um, otherwise, you might get hit by one of these lasers. Thankfully, going through this orange line, we come to the other side. I believe we have already explored this room through the middle pathway. So now we are going through the uh, southmost pathway. That's pretty good. Um, I think we'll be able to do some good progress. After all, we have been taking down quite a few tamers. Probably there are five more tamers left in this dojo though. It's also good that my team members are at level 69, which means that I'll probably have them at level 70 by the time we reach the dojo master, which is pretty good progress. Although I must say, I have to heal up my temptems once more, considering that these temptems are pretty powerful. But there we go, defeated this one as well. To be honest, in real time, this episode took me an hour and 15 minutes. I did drag 15 minutes just to um, kind of make some progress. But anyway, here we are, going through the southern part this time, considering that I did go through the northern part before. By the way, if you're wondering why I did not pick any of those items in the northern part, I will go back for it. I just wanted to explore the southern part before anything else. If you're wondering, the right path is through the southern path, which will take you to another confusing room, which actually was so tough that I had to kind of give up for five minutes. Um, I think you'll get to know it once you see the room itself, so let me quickly go through this battle. Now the battle itself might look a bit slower even though I have sped this video up into two eggs. Uh, this is mainly due to my internet kind of slowing down. After all I've been playing this game for around two hours and I think my internet is just telling me to stop. Anyway, um, Right, Oshukai did go down, but I think we'll be able to take it down in the very next turn. There we go. Thornif is definitely pretty powerful, even though it's just a nature type Temtem. I must say that is pretty impressive. Moving forward through this orange line, it goes all the way around the top floor or the top column and goes all the way to the bottom. Now this is the confusing one. Do not go through the middle path, you will die. You actually have to go through a bit of the right side path to actually go through it. Instead of going there, I made my way back to the other room and found a way to get to the top part of this middle room. Um, probably I should have started numbering all of these rooms. If I did number, this room would be the second one that we get to no matter from which pathway you go through. We do have our last teamer here. Um, let me quickly go ahead and defeat them. Unfortunately, my starter is definitely going to go down. It seems that most of these digital temtems are actually part electric. So they do tend to do a lot more damage than necessary. Thankfully, I do have Kazuma. 
so I shouldn't be having too much of an issue. Unfortunately, I lost the only water type temptem I had on team. I might have to switch into Saku to take down Grumper. But we also have Jiobin. Going with an electric storm. It did pretty good damage on Jiobin. I'm hoping to take it down in this turn. Alright, we did survive a patch fight. And Media Swarm takes down Zyobin. Pretty good. Next up, I'm just gonna go with Drill Run. And just heal up my Antan. I'm pretty sure Antan will be the target of Grumper. Hmm, never mind. It actually rested that turn. But of course, we immediately got hit the very next turn. This time, we are able to take down the Grumper. There we go. Bad. Although I did struggle a bit, but my Dumptim started level 70. I decided to go ahead and go through the top room over there, the one with double laser lines. Um, that one, I have to prepare and go through here. Alright, this time I'm just going to take all of the items. I did decide to cut out all of these um, videos where I'm just trying to move forward. It's a bit slower as you can see right here. You do have to be in the correct spot and do have to have the right time to get to these items. Um, if you're wondering, there are around five different items in this huge room. And at the end, you do have another yellow line, which is definitely where I'm going to go through in the next. It does lead to a dead end, but you do have a couple more items and a couple trainers over there. Anyway, here we are. This is the dead end. We have three trainers here. The first one being this guy right here. I think I'll go ahead and um, defeat this trainer and end out this episode. It's been quite long and I'm pretty sure that we have a few more trainers to defeat before we can actually reach the dojo master. This dojo is pretty long. It at least has 15 trainers and around 10 items that you can actually pick up before you reach the dojo master. So it's pretty long. The tamers are also pretty tough. So I think this battle will be a better one to go ahead and end out with. Kazuma goes down with one hit and Zare will probably go down in the next turn. Thankfully this time my starter actually survived and we are able to take them down. Right, pretty good. I believe this is a really good point for me to go ahead and end out this episode. In the next one, we are going to pick up from here, pick out all of the items and defeat all of the teamers as well as the dojo master. It's going to be pretty challenging and pretty interesting. But I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, please put it down in my comment section. I'm definitely going to respond back to it. Hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, please put a like. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to my channel as it really helps me a lot. If you'd like to support me more, check out the links down in my description for Patreon and Kofi. But I'll see you all in the next one.